Hi there. I'm Lisa Taylor, and this is Ideas on Truth. I, you know, I was going to come on and talk about a totally different thing. And just before I came on, um, I have this little Alexa on my desk, which I never use, um, but the little light was flashing. And it just got me to thinking, you know, how how easily we talk to a device and ask a device to tell us the temperature or tell us the top news stories or tell us to whatever, tell it to turn on the lights or turn off the lights or whatever. How easily we do that as compared to how often do we ask our inner voice, our inner knowing what's what we need to know? You know, do we as easily ask our inner highest self or ask God what the answer is. We're so, it's so easy to ask Alexa, you know, Alexa, what are the top news stories? Alexa, what should I have for lunch? I mean, I don't even know if Alexa answers that. I don't really use the thing. Um, I think we should start asking our highest self the way we would ask Alexa things. Highest self, what should I do right now? Highest self, how do I really feel about X, Y, Z? You know, do I really feel good about this? Does this really align with my highest purpose? I, I just think this is a good idea. I think we should try this. I'm gonna try this. I, I want to tune in. I was thinking today how often I walk around and I'm sort of focused on what I'm doing. And then I realized I have this running dialogue going on in my head. Do you guys have that? It's just this constant, constant voice in my head going all the time. And I mean, I pray, I meditate, I prepare for the day, I'm, you know, in flow and doing all the things that we're all striving to do. And yet, there's this constant chatter going on in my head, judging myself judging others, thinking what I should be doing or what I shouldn't be doing or just making comments about things. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So I became very, and I know, and I know there are times when we become very aware of this and we sort of get into the good habit of being aware and letting it go and, you know, focusing our thought in the right direction. I just became aware of it today and was laughing at how silly it is and what a waste of time it is and if in those moments I would very consciously tune into my highest self tune into those angel messages tune into my intuition and you know that definition of angels that I love angels are God's best man, spiritual intuitions pure and perfect I love that definition it's from the book I quote a lot science and health with key to the scriptures by Mary Baker Eddy um, but I love that. How often are we tuning into our angels instead of asking Alexa? So I'm gonna, instead of asking Alexa, I'm going to ask angels. Angels, what should I be doing right now? Anyway, that's my thought tonight. I'm, um, it's been a very long day, and tomorrow is another very long day. So I'm not coming on here for very long, but I just wanted to check in and say hi and I love you guys, and thank you so much for watching. And um, I know I promised an announcement, and I haven't done that. But I am um, hoping to gather up my ideas, not my ideas, gather up the ideas that are coming to me this weekend and try to get them into a form and then have an announcement for you, let's say, next week. Let's commit, shall we? Let's commit to next week. I need to just do a little bit of intuition work and really listen to my angels and, you know, get a sense of what's right to go forward with. So I look forward to that. And instead of asking Alexa, let's ask our angels. And the angels know a lot more than Alexa anyway. So do that and, and let's practice letting go of the chatter and listening, just silencing the chatter, just turning the volume down on that and really listening, listening to our hearts and listening to our intuition and listening to our highest self and following that 
that true north, that north star of self, of, of pure identity. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Don't you love this jacket? I like this jacket. It's keeping me warm. Bye.